Hi, Drew. I am so excited. Um, please quickly tell us about America's Test Kitchen and how it functions, because when I learned the rules and what goes into it, I was so impressed. <laughs> yeah, so America's Test Kitchen, we are a, uh, a, a company here in Boston that uh, we have about 40 to 50 test cooks. We've got two PBS cooking shows, Cooks Illustrated Magazine, Cooks Country Magazine, and we publish about 12 cookbooks a year. So we have an army of test cooks that basically test recipes over and over and over again until we are certain that they're foolproof. We have an army of home testers as well, about 60,000 people around the country that will make our recipes before they're published and give us feedback. So we are all about you know, helping home cooks be really confident about uh, what they're cooking and really happy with the results. So you know, what's better than that? Well, what are we <laughs> making today, Dan? So we're going to do a really fabulous roast cod with uh, lemony garlic potatoes, and we're going to do it in the air fryer. Uh, we were uh, initially a little skeptical about air fryers, uh, but we, we ran it through the paces and we ended up really, really loving it. And the key is to really think of it as a small convection oven that mm -hmm. sits on your countertop. The, the French fries and the crispy chicken are, I think, what people generally think of when, when they go with air fryers, but it's much bigger than that. And that's why we're going to do fish today. Like, who, who would th think that you would do fish in an air fryer? It so actually it really mixing comes it up. out so beautifully. All right, Dan, what's our first step? All right, so our first step is a, is a trick that we came up with in the test kitchen is you wanna make a foil sling to put in the bottom of your, uh, of your air fryer basket. So I'm gonna nestle it in here and just make sure those edges kind of cover over there so they don't get in the way. This is amazing for getting food in and out of the basket. Um, it's, and it's also gonna allow us to rotate the food halfway through cooking, which is really important for even cooking. And then a little bit of uh, veg oil, a little cooking spray goes over that and on the basket itself. So that is the first step. Okay, so then we're gonna put our potatoes in. And so these potatoes are in butter and garlic, a little bit of lemon zest. So we're basically layering these in here. I was nervous and excited to cook with you. I mean, you're the youngest editor in the history of Cooks Illustrated, which really is a very important institution. All right, I've done my potatoes. You've done your potatoes. So these go into an air fryer at 400 degrees um, Fahrenheit. Dan, and we're gonna go I did a for, single yep. layer. I'm so sorry. Am I supposed to double up there? So, yeah. So I basically do, I don't know if you can see, I do two two layers, one and one, okay. and they're just kind of shingled, I'm shingled gonna, like that. I think, because I, listen, I want more potatoes. They're so good. Well, yeah, double up on them. Go as yeah. many as you, okay, many as you want. So that's going to go in for uh, at 400 degrees for 16 to 18 minutes and then rotate it halfway through using that foil sling. There we go. Uh, 400 degrees, right, Dan? Yep, that's right. So 16 to 18 minutes, um, and we do a rotation halfway through. I'm going to go 17 because it's in between 16 and 18. Is that okay? That's perfect. Dan, I'm really proud to tell you that uh, this is uh, a new kitchen appliance uh, line that uh, I have designed, and I'm a part of the company that invented and is putting it out there. It's called Beautiful. You don't tend to put them away a lot, so they stay and yep. live on your counter. And we wanted them to be, well, beautiful. Uh, you definitely achieved that. That thing is gorgeous. Yeah. I, I, would use, I would use it. You can put one in the bedroom, put one in the office. I mean, they're... Air fryers. They're not just for the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so while that's cooking and we're going to do a halfway rotation and then halfway through its cooking, we're going to handle the cod. How do we handle the cod? That's right. So, um, so I've got mine, and, and this is a by the magic of TV here. I've got it switched out, so you can see you get this beautiful spotty browning on top. This is the full 16 to 18 minutes. Ta -da! And I think you also, ta da! You've got one as well. Um, perfect. So that comes out, and now we're going to do, uh, we're going to get our cod on top of there. So these are eight ounce uh, fillets each. They're skinless, and mine are a little thin, so I've tucked the tails under, which is a, a good little tip there as well. So I'm just going to season this up with um, some salt and pepper. Mm hmm. That looks perfect. Awesome. So they're going to go right on top of the potatoes, and you just want to leave a little bit of space between the two of them. And that's going to make it a lot easier come serving oh, time. Oh, look, ours match, Dan. I know. <laughs> I can't believe it. And then um, we're going to mix up real quick this gorgeous compound butter that's going to uh, we're going to dot on top. Mm -hmm. So you should have some softened butter there. That's a couple tablespoons of softened butter. Yeah, it's very soft. And then to that, we're going to add uh, about a teaspoon of lemon zest and a tablespoon of minced fresh parsley. Now, this is super flexible. If you have chives, you have tarragon, if you like something else, absolutely go with that. I'm adding a little bit of chives, Dan. 
Beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah. So we're just going to mix that up in a nice little butter paste, a little compound butter. And then we're simply going to dollop it on top of both the flays. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It's butter, so it's going to melt on there and kind of spread into every little uh, every little crevice and just be delicious. Yeah, that looks beautiful. That's perfect. Oh, wait. Um, and then so the... The next thing is shingling on a few. So we zested uh, lemon to get that lemon zest. And then uh, we just slice it into these nice strips and put them right on top. And that butter is going to help them stick in place. This is just, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous garnish, but they're going to get nice and browned as well. And the juices are going to drip onto the fish. It's just really, you get kind of magic coming together with all of that. It's a lemon Beautiful. blankie. <laughs> <laughs> Can I always cook with you? This is way more fun than what I normally am cooking. Oh yeah, Dan, come on, let's let's do this. Um, okay, so this is 400 degrees, so uh, and we're going to go for about 12 to 15 minutes. Um, so you might want to go in the middle there. Again, we're going to rotate it halfway through using the foil sling, uh, which is really just a such a helper for us. Now, Dan, quick MythBuster because I just yeah. read this whole article about you are not to open your oven while cooking. Does the same apply to an air fryer when you're rotating? Can that damage the cooking process or it's okay? No, it's totally okay. And that, that's one of the beautiful things about air fryers is that they heat up really, really quickly. So you take it out and you lose a little bit of heat, but it's just small space, it'll heat right back up. So your cooking times, excuse me, will still be really accurate. And that is beautiful. Um, it, thank you. I have to say that this is so doable, that one pot, that one destination where you can be really focused and create a beautiful dinner for yourself. That, to me, is reality cooking sometimes. Absolutely, yeah. And, and so many people are cooking for two people, especially now with uh, everyone and, you know, kind of sticking to their home. All right, Dan, I'm going in. All right, I'm going to give it a shot, too. Mm. 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 You took the, the words right out of my mouth. The potatoes make this feel so hearty, so warm, so abundant. It doesn't feel like diet food. It feels like rich, luxurious, a really multi-layered bite and dish. That is a perfect cook on that fish. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Oh my God, Dan, I don't like it. I love it. <laughs> um, I want to thank you, Dan Souza. From the bottom of my food-loving heart, <laughs> air fryer perfection from the folks at America's Test Kitchen is an extraordinary book and really the perfect accompaniment to your air fryer. And Cook's Illustrated, really a chef's Bible and a beloved institution of which Dan is the youngest editor-in-chief in its history.